Welcome to the Transportation Rail Incident Preparedness and Response Program. With an increase in the production and movement of Hazard Class 3 flammable liquid commodities, such as crude oil and ethanol, it is important that the risk of incidents be minimized through a strategic approach. U.S. crude oil production averaged 8.5 million barrels per day in 2014 and is projected to average 9 million barrels per day in 2015. This is a considerable increase since 2008 when the U.S. crude oil production had fallen to 5 million barrels. Along with the increase in production, the volume of crude oil moving by rail has quadrupled in less than a decade. The U.S. Department of Transportation, Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, along with the Federal Railroad Administration, have been working with federal agencies, public safety organizations, rail industry owners and operators, and the emergency response community to address the hazards associated with these incidents. In 2014, a Lessons Learned Roundtable Forum and follow-up report gathered feedback from a panel of fire chiefs and emergency management officials from some of the jurisdictions that have experienced a crude oil or ethanol rail transportation incident. The purpose of this forum was to share firsthand knowledge about their experiences responding to and managing these incidents. Further collaboration with stakeholders resulted in the development of the Crude Oil Rail Emergency Response Workgroup, which created the Commodities Preparedness and Incident Management Reference Sheet for Petroleum Crude Oil. The resources found in this program are the result of these collaborative efforts and are focused on sharing incident management best practices with the emergency response community. A key component of this initiative is to learn from past experience and to leverage the expertise of public safety agencies, rail carriers, and industry subject matter experts to better prepare first responders to safely manage incidents of this magnitude.